Hello and welcome to Infinity. When you're doing sharpening, then it can be nice to see exactly where it's being sharpened. And here's something that I kind of came across recently just whilst tinkering. And uh, let's zoom in close to an area here. Because what I've got here is a nice clear edge and a bunch of texture where the colours are varying just slightly. Now if I go and put a unsharp mask on that. Normally if I set the radius up here, if you turn the radius up then you can see the effect there and that's particularly working on an edge effect. Let's put it down here. Normally then we turn the factor up to increase the sharpening effect but notice also you're getting effects in here. If I turn the radius up again with a high factor then I get this you know, huge haloing effect happening at the edge here. Yes, I know it's pretty horrible. But part of the idea with this is that with the threshold, which is often not used and, and it can easily lose it, if you start turning this up here, the threshold sort of backs off on the texture area first. Uh, but if you get there before long, even when it's quite low, it's only 20%, it's basically taking all the sharpening out. If I turn that on and off, I see very little change at all. So the question is, how can I visualize this somewhat better? So what exactly is being changed? And most what I've found is if I put on the divide blend mode, I get this kind of thing. And you can see the shape of the flower there and so on and other things. And now look at what happens now. If I turn the radius up here, the radius is doing edge detection there. You can see that effect being spread up there. See the way it stretches out there so you get that haloing. And if I bring the factor up, you get even more change there. But it's you're getting just our kind of primary and secondary colours here. This is because it's basically blowing out some channels and, and not others, or pushing them over one way or back the other way. So you get this rather strange effect, but it lets you see where things are happening. And then now, interestingly as well, if I turn the threshold up, look, the moment I moved it just to 1%, a heck of a lot has disappeared. It's gone to white. And when it's white, nothing's happening. In other words, there is no effect being applied. And uh, so if I turn it up again, it very quickly disappears. So you can see here, you can use this to to adjust and, and play with this. So for example, I turn the radius up. So I've got a high radius, low factor. What happens here with the threshold is I'm bringing this up and I can sort of, I can see where it's backing off here and things are not changing much here. And it's a lot more visible than if I went just to normal here and started moving things up and down here or this up and down. That you can see there's a bit changing here, but it's very difficult to see where it is. So the divide blend mode lets you see where things are being changed. And that's the, the key thing about it. It's not a mask, but a useful indicator. And it's particularly useful on the unsharp mask. I've played with it in other areas and, and you can do the same. You can try it on clarity and, and, and so on. But this works quite well to give you an indicator of what's happening that where things are and when where to just tweak the threshold up to back off that local contrast that can looks like a bit of noise and then focus it on the edge for example just to show you what happens with this if i hit control j here i have duplicated this here if i now go to divide blend mode what you get is it goes all white so in other words i've got the same thing here with divide and it's all gone white to one because it's the top layer divided by the bottom layer for each channel. And you can then play around with that effect, but that is why it works as it does. So there you go. Very simply, just flip over temporarily to divide when you're doing an unsharp and you can see way better where it's having an effect. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.